Hey, what's up guys? Adam here with a hands-on demo of the all-new ScreenFlow 3.0 screen recording and editing software. ScreenFlow 3.0 was just released yesterday and it costs $99 and you can buy it in the link in the description below and it should be coming to the Mac App Store soon. So guys, the first new change in ScreenFlow 3.0 is a redesigned timeline. The first change here is this bar on the left side. This actually allows you to move entire tracks very easily just by dragging them up and down with this control right here. You can also resize them found on this little bar on the left side as well. And this is great if you have a larger or smaller monitor to make your timeline customizable and it's a really cool new feature. Another new feature is with this red line right here on the bottom of it, there's a little tab and with this tab, you can drag back and forth the entire timeline and clips from before that line and behind that line. And it's a really cool new feature. You can also fill in gaps by right clicking between two clips. And this is great for moving single clips at a time. And altogether, the timeline enhancements are really, really nice in ScreenFlow 3.0. Next up, there's this new annotations feature. You can click to add annotations on this annotation screen found in the upper right hand corner. And then you can choose which annotation you want. There's a few available options including squares, arrows, circles, and lines, and these are all very customizable. You can adjust the thickness and other properties of them, and you can also customize the endpoints for the arrows and the lines. The next major new feature in ScreenFlow 3.0 is this new callout tab. In the callout tab, this allows you to do specific callouts on parts of your image. For example, you can make ScreenFlow follow just your mouse and then blur the background or lower the opacity of the background. You can also do the same thing with the foreground, but there's a new feature which allows you to do this with a freehand draw. Uh, so basically, you select the freehand option and then a menu will pop up and you can either select circle or square. With circle or square, you can draw in a freehand callout and it'll call out just this image, which is a really cool new feature. There's also some various other new notable features such as minor user interface tweaks, more options in the exporting, the ability to take background noise out of the audio, and many line compatible features including full screen mode along with auto saves and versions. So guys, that is ScreenFlow 3.0. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Let me know what you guys think of the software and thanks all for watching.